Ready to go eat? Come on. All right. We can't unload any hay until he gets his food. The Norman is number one when it comes to food. All right. Let's get him satisfied. Are you ready? <laughs> ready? Ready to go, ready to go. Are ready to go? We got our little station set up here. <laughs> They're the cutest. I just love it. I always say if you guys have a bucket list to do, you have to bottle feed a lamb. It's so much fun. What's that gate noise? I think Smokey is ready to eat too. <laughs> He's Mr. Bossy when it comes to his food. Everybody is, aren't they? Even your husband. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So while she's feeding uh, Storm and Norman, <laughs> I'm gonna throw Smokey and uh, Sadie some hay. So I can get him off my back and get him off this fence. All right. There we go. Back. Back. You can't be bum rushing me, man. There you go. Good girl. Pretty heat. Doing, Molly, you're a good girl. Give them another little bale in a little bit, but just remember, don't leave these uh, baling twines laying around. They'll wreak havoc on your chickens, on your ducks, all your livestock, so. Well, basically what we gotta do right now is unload this whole trailer full of uh, hay that you guys are sitting on, so you gotta get off of there. And me and Stacey are gonna buck it in here after she's finished with uh, Storm and Norman. <laughs> all right, come on, you gotta move over here. Norman has his milk mustache, he's done. Already? Did you show everybody your milk mustache? Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. Pretty as a picture, aren't you? <laughs> All right, I'll get busy. Everybody's outside, buddy. You gotta go outside. And then we'll start stacking this inside. And today's uh, hay and firewood day. <laughs> gotta replenish the supplies, you know. Which usually goes down, you know, in the end of January. 
So we still got February and March yet to worry about supplies. And come April, the grass will start greening up and we'll be moving on to more stuff. Like growing on our own food. food. Hay is a lot like firewood. You have to get it out of the field when it's hot. Usually it's June or July. And then you have to bucket. Then you have to bucket into the barn. And then in our case, then we have to bucket onto this trailer. And then from the trailer, we have to bucket into this barn. That's definitely something to think about too if you guys are going to think about homesteading is um, animals versus how much land you have. We have 11 acres here and probably seven or eight of it is in pasture. So uh, we could cut hay and then, you know, we have our animals on the fields all summer. It adds a little bit of stress to the field, but we could totally do it, section them off, move them around. Uh, but then we'd have to have a tractor, we'd have to have a hay machine, and then the twine, and then the, you know, all the stuff that goes with it. So I just found it more economical in our area, you know, these hay bales. These are really good, heavy. You can't tell on the video, but these are, these are what they call like 80 pounders. They're pretty heavy and very stacked. Aren't you, what you say? Pretty heavy, pretty stacked. Oh my gosh, yeah. Yeah, so these are running five dollars a bale. Normally they're four. So that's just something to keep in mind. It's a lot less expensive for us and easier for us to get the hay as we need it every season versus having all that equipment and then adding more work for us to do. Got to pick your battles. You're a crazy woman. And then we also got some straw on this here trip. And that's just for the chicken coops and just for bedding for the sheep and stuff like that. So We always try to get a few things when we're out running so that way we're uh, covering all of our bases. One trip. Uh, all right, you're a good helper, Molly. Come on, you feel like, like a mountain goat. Get down. She's having so much fun. <laughs> Everybody loves farm life here. Here, here, here. These are a little lighter. Yeah, these these bales uh, are very heavy and dense. Oh yeah. Compared to like normal. Norman. Molly, what's in there, huh? Are you sure you're not part Billy Goat? No. No. Come on now. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> oh, you're too smart. Too smart for words. Too smart for words. What are, you what, are you doing, what are you doing, Norman? Huh? Are you singing? He just has a good old time for smell. A lot of smell. Then he likes to hang out in the seat of the horses. Do you want to go one here or not? Yeah. We get the whole row in there, so for sure. Oh, smell it all, girlfriend. This is a lot of the reasons why we love the homestead life. <laughs> Nothing's better than the sunshine right after a snow, too. Yeah, it feels, you know, it's probably like, what, 20 degrees, maybe? 
But with the sun shining, it just feels good. Oh, it's great. Yeah. Feeling good. Feeling good. Not living in the neighborhood. <laughs> uh, he's so he's so witty. I'm so witty. Oh my gosh. Some people will get it. Some people might not. All right. Norman Norman. You are really going at it, aren't you? Buckaroo bandit, huh? Woohoo! Look at that jump. What a star. What a star. You're a superstar. You're a superstar. Loves it. See, you gotta move it, use it, or lose it. So we just keep that action going. Okay. Always something to do. Lifting mussels, lifting bales of hay, you know, lifting those log oaks. Guys, I see a lot of those comments down there. A lot of y'all are looking for too easy ways to do stuff. You gotta use this body you're meant for. You don't wanna abuse it. But you definitely want to use it. Because if you don't use it, it just goes away and it starts deteriorating. Your lung capacities go down, your muscles start to weaken, your back hurts more often. So you gotta stay active. Because we are what? Hunters. And gatherers. And what does that mean? We have to work for our food. <laughs> <laughs> this is moved up fun a little better, huh? Boy, they're always, always looking, aren't they? Always looking. All right, might as well get a couple in here, isn't it? Oh, yeah, nice. Nice little morning workout. <laughs> That'll keep you satisfied, won't it? Okay. Won't it? Oh. Hey, there's nothing in there for you. Come on. Get them out of there, Sadie. Run them off. Run them off, Sadie girl. Hey. Come on here. Man, what are you looking at? Huh? What are you looking at over here? Huh? Come on. No, no. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay. All right. Let's go enjoy your food now. Don't be causing no trouble. <laughs> See, it's all this intricate work, of the behind the scenes. <laughs> all right, 
She's got the lamb. Oh, Smokey tried to jump her. <laughs> Smokey tried to get you. You better watch him. It's faster than you think. <laughs> yes. Ah, oh, you're doing pretty good, aren't you, old boy? Yeah. You know what's crazy about sheep, our little lambs, is how they get their winter coat so quickly. It's amazing from the time that he came from the house to outside. <laughs> from the time he was inside with us to the uh, out here in the barn, he got such a thick coat just in a matter of a day or so. It's just amazing. And I was backing up getting the shot for you. <laughs> and, uh, just had a seat right there. <laughs> All right, looks like everybody's enjoying the morning feed, isn't it? One down, one to go. <laughs> so usually about this time of year also, this is where we keep our wood for the log cabin. We heat with a wood cook stove. And we're down, this is, holds about five cords inside of here. So we're down to maybe a little less than half a cord. So you know what that means. I know, I know. It's a little bit of a cheat, but it does help make the process go a little easier and faster. warming up we'll get this ready All right. so usually what I'll do is I'll keep a big pile of wood up here on reserves and then I'll have it tarped so that way when we get the inclement weather like we're getting now you know, it's not full of snow and everything We'll get this thing on tart. Then we'll get into the easy part. <laughs> So what everybody really wants to know is how's the uh, no gas cans in the back of the truck to town going for you? Oh, I love it. It's great because it's, I mean, it's a lot. I got diesel cans and I have regular gas cans going in and whatever you get at the store. Yeah, it's a, it's, it is. It's turned into a hassle though. I'm very happy with our new setup. So all the things on your list keep getting checked off. That's right. That is Except right. for my chicken coop. Oh, come on now. I need a chicken coop. <laughs> wink, wink. <laughs> Here's Molly. And while we're doing this, Stacy went down to do a little something at the wood 
by the house and I'll show you that when we get down there. Get dizzy now. Collecting that solar power off grid. 100% solar power, 100% rainwater, 100% freedom. And trust me, all this gas stuff is just convenience. We live 10 years without it. You got that? <laughs> and it's actually it actually feels good. But we're trained and programmed, if there's no gas, we can handle whatever comes our way now. So what we gotta do first, is we're gonna get the, uh, whoops, turn that off. I don't wanna waste my gas, <laughs> just cause I got a bunch of it. <laughs> so what we like to do is get this wood that's it's seasoned, really, that's all in the back here, this last of the five cords. And we'll get all that into the house and then we'll put all the new stuff inside here. So while I'm grabbing these up, uh, Stacy's getting the stairs kind of cleaned off and then we're going to uh, just start putting them behind the stove. All right. We like to do the hay and the firewood and stuff today on a day like this when it's like 10 degrees or 19 degrees because the ground's all frozen so you can move in and move out without tearing up a bunch of stuff so
All right, I don't think we can put much on there. And now uh, we almost got it all. Here, I'll show you. You'd be surprised to think that all that would fit in there, but look at there. So now we're gonna start piling this back up. Probably just do a couple scoops so we can move on. We got more stuff to do. It does create quite a mess in there for you, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, when it's an alley, it is. All right, you wanna move those things over to the side or up this way or something? Yeah, just turn this way. for breakfast. <laughs> this is what we do before 8 o'clock. How about potatoes, eggs, and sourdough <laughs> bread? <laughs> Alright. Time to feed Norman again. Seems like a blink of an eye on the YouTube or Facebook, wherever you're watching us, but it takes hours. <laughs> that's why they say, or that's why Doug says, if you got quit in you, you don't want to live off grid or homestead or be. Any, any more involved really in your life probably than you are right now. <laughs> I was with a guy this morning bucking that hay, 72 years old. Nice guy. He bucked 70 bales with me, loaded up another truck, and went off to the sale barn. ask him he'd say no way does he want to stop moving around he knows that comes at a price so you just gotta keep moving do the best with what you got and every day should be a little better yeah now we'll get a little stockpile back built up down here we got the stove all Nice and tidy now with a lot of wood behind it there. Load number three. Yeah, see I can get in there good now. That's what you like. Nice, good load. Load number three. We're back for number four.
inquisitive. Good farm dog. You miss me? Oh my gosh, I was counting the Sure felt good. It's good to get a lot of stuff done early in the day and you feel just like you accomplished so much. So some of this wood that we brought in, I'm gonna go ahead and snuff the fire because Doug and I are cold. So Doug and I can get some tea and warm up after being outside because it's still about 19, 20 degrees and nothing feels better than a nice warm wood fire with a cup of nice hot tea. And I gotta get ready for dinner because we've been working hard. We're gonna go ahead and I think I'm gonna have something hearty. We're gonna have spaghetti and meatballs. I tried a new meatball recipe. Maybe I'll make a meatball recipe for you guys sometime soon. It turned out really good. So we're gonna do spaghetti and meatballs and some homemade sourdough bread. And I guess chow down because we earned it today. And of course, gotta keep feeding that little um, Norman because he is eating and he's having so much fun and I'm so happy he's doing really really well out there I went out a little while ago in between when we were doing the scoops of wood and we got done about four scoops of wood with the skid steer and it takes about six of them to make a cord so Doug's gonna do a couple more but in the meantime when I was out feeding him I was like where are you he didn't come running to me because he was playing with all the other little lambs so I'm really happy he's getting really well adjusted and kind of hanging out with the other one. So I'm really happy with his progress. So he's doing good and we're going to have our tea and have a really good dinner. And I hope you guys have an awesome day and we will see you later and go out and do something outside because I can't tell you, getting outside in the sunshine is probably the best medicine for anybody. It just helps with your mental health. It helps just with your physical health and just makes you feel good. Getting out in the sun, no matter how cold it is, just get out there, bundle up and go because it is so helpful for you. So have an awesome day and I will see you guys later. Bye.